If you feel confident about your place in the food chain, Michael Pollan might change your mind. That's because when Michael Pollan asks, what should we have for dinner? Readers may be surprised by the political, economic, psychological, and moral implications of their answer. The kind of agriculture we have is very much a function of the kind of cooking we're doing. So that if you're letting fast food companies cook your food, you're going to have vast monocultures of corn and soya and, uh, and animals in feedlots. For the past 25 years, Michael has been writing from a unique vantage point, exploring the places where nature and culture intersect, on our plates, in our farms or gardens, and in the built environment. No matter what we're doing, we still need food, and food still comes from the earth. And to ignore that connection and lose track of it, I, I think, is a tragedy. So it begins with supporting farmers who are doing good work. He's the author of five New York Times bestsellers, and made Time Magazine's list of the world's 100 most influential people and Newsweek's top 10 new thought leaders. Through his groundbreaking work, Michael Pollan has brought every major food policy and health issue to the forefront of the national conversation and has always been a fierce advocate for change. And for each of his readers who want to make a difference right at home, Pollan offers a simple food rule. Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. Spend time exploring with Michael Pollan and you'll find yourself looking more closely at the world around you. Don't be surprised if it looks different than before.